Well, they did it. I don't know why they did it, but they did it. Ubisoft managed to invent a way for pirates to steal physical copies of their games. And this wasn't even an accident because they have no interest in helping customers who buy valid copies of their game. Let me go back to the beginning. Last Thursday was the birthday of my girlfriend's son and he wanted Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Since our internet has a data cap, we can't download it digitally on Steam, so our next best option was to buy a physical copy online and have it shipped to us. So, we hopped on Amazon, ordered a new copy of the game from a highly reputable store, 4.9 stars out of 5 with over 3,000 reviews, and even paid extra for a guaranteed delivery on his birthday so that it would arrive on time. The game arrived in pristine condition, still sealed within its wrapper, and he installed it on his laptop. But then he had to activate it on Uplay. And when he punched in the activation key, he was greeted with a message that the key was already in use. So, what happened? Well, for most software that uses an activation key, pirates can use what's called a key gen to generate a key in the proper format to trick the system into thinking that their copy is legitimate. The problem is, however, that Uplay allows a single key to activate the game one time for one Uplay account. So when a pirate generates a new key, any already shipped box with an identical key on it becomes dysfunctional. Literally, any time someone pirates the game using a key gen, one legitimate copy of the game sitting on a store shelf becomes dysfunctional. So I figured I'd contact Ubisoft support. I have proof that I purchased the game, and I could explain exactly what happened. Surely they don't want pirates to be playing the games, or they wouldn't have such harsh DRM. So they would certainly give me a new key and investigate the user of the old key to see if they'd stolen the game, right? <laughs> oh no. Their response to my problem amounted to basically, tough shit. Buy it again until you get a functional copy of the game. You see, even though the problem is caused directly by their DRM, Ubisoft does not support their own games. Instead, they hold the vendors responsible for when their DRM causes a copy of the game to become dysfunctional. They claim that the vendor was not an official vendor, and therefore is not supported by them. The vendor, BLS Mart, has, as I said before, a 4.9 out of 5 star rating, with over 3,000 ratings this year. Looking through their reviews, I did notice a few other reviews with the same problems. They bought a Ubisoft game, and the activation key was already in use, and Ubisoft refused to fix the problem. So, from the looks of it, the only bad marks against the company are from the same source. Ubisoft's DRM. This is not only bad for customers who want to buy physical copies of Ubisoft games, but also bad for vendors who want to sell Ubisoft games. Ubisoft basically washes their hands of any problem caused by their own DRM and allows legitimate vendors to suffer from the anger and distrust generated by the games not working. So, basically, if you buy a physical copy of any Ubisoft game for the PC, there is a chance that your copy will not work and the only thing you can do is buy the game again until you get a copy that does work. And if the vendor you are working with doesn't give refunds for PC games, well, fuck you. The vendor I purchased from, though, is actually established with Amazon, and returning the game was a simple automatic process. But many physical stores that are equally vulnerable to the same problem will not accept returns on PC games at all. So what this boils down to is that Ubisoft does not want us to buy their games. Plain and simple. I'm not going to break down their doors begging for the privilege of buying the same game a dozen times until I get a copy that works, and neither should anyone else. We need to get it through to these guys that this sort of bullshit is not acceptable. I don't really have any influence, but I can at least warn you guys about what's going on here. If you are a gamer, beware that any random PC game by Ubisoft could be an unsupported dud. And if you are a vendor, 
Be warned that your reputation could be damaged by Ubisoft thrusting the blame for their defective products onto your shoulders. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news today. I should have a new review up soon, though, and I will see you all next time.